If you're looking for cheap, instant, and reliable Madden Ultimate Team coins, make sure to check out buymuttcoins.com and use the discount code RBT for 10% off your purchase. Yo, what is going on everybody? This is Samuel Brown, aka RBT, coming at you with another episode of Memory of McNair. Thank you guys so much for the support on the last couple episodes, guys. It's only been three episodes, and I'm pretty sure every single episode has cracked 1,000 likes, so thank you guys so much. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the return of the Road to Glory on the channel, so thank you guys so much. So if we could crack 1,000 likes once again, guys, that would be absolutely amazing. I do want to let you guys know, uh, last night I uploaded a collab with Savage Madden and with K. It's like a triple collab. And I think it was a bad time and I uploaded it so not too many of you saw it But it's genuinely one of my most favorite videos I've uploaded on the channel I think it's the funniest so if you guys like funny content, please go check out that collab guys I'll link it below. I it was pretty freaking funny like I said So please go check it out if you did miss it last night But anyways guys, we are gonna jump into today's episode Hopefully we can get another win. We got our first win in the previous episode So hopefully we can start a streak and the one question I did want to answer before we jump into the game of this episode a lot of people are asking me why I'm not doing two games per episode like I did in my previous Road to Glory. The reason being is, well, first of all, in the previous Road to Glories, like, they ended up being so freaking short. Like, there was only, like, maybe ten episodes per series, but probably less than that, like, nine or ten episodes per series when I did two games per episode. So when I do one game per episode, it's going to allow for more episodes within this series. And number two, guys, if I put two games per episode, the videos would just be way too long. They're already, like, 15 minutes. And if they're way too long, it's going to be really hard to be producing all the content that I am. It would be really hard to do like two or three videos a day if that video ended up being like 30 minutes long. So it takes so long to upload on my channel because my internet speed is so freaking bad that like it would be hard to get the other videos up as well. So that's why, guys, hopefully you're okay with that. It just means more episodes on the channel. You'll get them hopefully three to four times per week on the channel. So hopefully you guys are okay with that. But if you guys did miss last episode and haven't by now and want to go back and watch it, this is how we ended up on offense after our upgrades from the game of that episode. Episode. And now moving on to defense. We got a couple upgrades. Landon Collins is one of them that I'm excited to try out and Jason McCourty at the cornerback position. So that's gonna be pretty freaking sick. But with that said guys, let's jump into the game for this episode and hopefully get another freaking win. So there's my team. Let's see what my opponent does have. Don't be anybody crazy. So he does have some elite players, but it's not as good of a team that I possibly could have came up against. So this is a game that I should definitely win, especially with the teams we played in the past. So guys, you know what's freaking stupid is I went back and made sure connect was off it was turned off and it is turned off guys so it was even turned off when it messed me up at the end of that one game so that sucks as he gets a big pass here to freaking Larry Fitzgerald I need to pay attention to the gameplay not worried about my connect but still dude that's kind of freaking annoying that even if you have it turned off it still picks up what you say like what's the point in even having an option to turn it off if it still you know works can we get the sack here we lose a fumble pick it up pick it up you idiot no you were god dang idiot you were an absolute idiot well that very easily could have been a scoop and score but anyways it's a third and 16 now why I have a feeling guys he's gonna pick this up a really bad feeling he's gonna be right there at 58 bats this one down instead of picking it off let's see if we can get on the board real early in this episode West Saxon's gonna be open on the out route that's always open West Saxon that's gonna be a touchdown first play does he have the speed West Saxon boys West Saxon's gonna get into the end zone Deion Sanders is not gonna catch him he's gonna break his tackle anyway in West Saxon on the first offensive play first play from scrimmage dude scores a freaking touchdown just like that boys it is two upgrades for the touchdown pass to West Saxon continues to be the absolute Let's get this interception. He's throwing it deep. Come on, make this pick. Jalen Collins comes up with another interception, boys. That's his third interception already in this series. He's made a pick every... Wait, I'm dumb. I'm, I'm actually dumb. That's li that's that's Landon Collins. I don't know what I just said. I play action pass here to West Saxon. The same exact route, dude. It's open once again, dude. West Saxon, man. It's just killing that out route. And so this guy covers it. Why not run it every goddamn play? X is going to be open. Oh, dude. A split second more. And X was going to make the catch, dude. God dang. But I have to try to go for this field goal. 46 yards, dude. It's got to be perfect. This is that's almost perfect. That's got to be good. That is going to be good, boys. We take a 9 to nothing lead. Third down and four. Can we get this stop deep in his own territory? The underneath route's going to be open. I'm going to be right there and I'm gonna make that tackle on Larry Fitzgerald it's gonna be a fourth down he of course is going for it they have an odd suspicion if he does not pick this up he is going to rage quit which would be good for me because that's an extra upgrade the short pattern I'm gonna be right there he's gonna throw to the slant I'm gonna be right there I'm gonna knock the ball down and that's gonna be a turnover on downs as I think he's he's gonna what I tell you Illuminati confirm boys we're gonna get the rage quit I think are you gonna quit 
he does quit, boys. So what I'm actually going to do is jump into a second game for this episode. I'm going to save all the upgrades to the very end. But I want to count the upgrades really quick. We do get the win. That's one upgrade. We get the Rage Quit, which is two upgrades. The Touchdown Pass from Steve McNair is an extra two, which makes four. And then the 100 total yards makes a fifth upgrade for this first game. So we are going to jump into a second game. So this guy looks like he's a Jags fan. TJ Yeldon. He has Allen Robinson. And I didn't, I'm dumb because I didn't see that last guy. But he has, I mean, it's, his team probably is filled with gold players. But when you put the overalls together, it's probably a very good matchup for me. So we got lucky in these two games for this episode. We're normally matched up against teams with like 90 overall players. So if I don't win this game, guys, there's literally no excuse whatsoever. There's no lag right now. Knock on wood. I just knocked on my leg instead of wood. And we're coming up against very good matchups. So if I lose this game, guys, like I said, all on me. So we didn't score in the first play from scrimmage. So we've already not started as good as we did in the previous game but there's still hope boys but it is a third down so we have to come up big here make this third down conversion well west sacks and i know he's using them though but west sacks the man is still a freaking beast dude even on that guy's middle linebacker that he was using he still makes the catch derrick henry gets to the outside can you run over this man yes he does derrick henry stay outside boys making the miss derrick henry is the freaking goat dude derrick henry what a freaking run down to the 33 yard line dude that's the first big run he's had in this series fourth and inches we have steve mcnair we're gonna run a quarterback sneak and we're gonna get it guys 100 percent because steve mcnair is not going to be denied for, like, a freaking Mandingo, dude. No guy dang way. Quarterback sneak. Oh, man. I will get naked on camera on YouTube with the risk of YouTube deleting my channel if we do not pick up this quarterback sneak for the first down. There's a ton of space. And Steve McNair gets it easy, dude. No nakedness for me. Going to try out a halfback screen. You know what? No, back of the end zone. West Saxton, dude. Look at him. Look at West Saxton, dude. That's on a gold linebacker. I was trying to throw a lob pass to him, but he still goes up on the bullet pass. One-on-one -on -one with that defender on that linebacker. It makes a catch, dude. Like, you can't make this up. He's a bronze, dude. He's still playing absolutely freaking insane, just like Cameron Clear was, if not better. Like, the man, he, I don't think he's dropped a pass, honestly, in this series. Like, I don't show a lot of stuff, like, on or in the gameplay footage because it's irrelevant, but, like... He, I really don't think, has dropped any passes that I have not shown you guys. So we're going to try to stretch here with Derrick Henry get into the end zone. Derrick Henry, oh, that didn't work at all. Fourth and goal. Got to be great, family. Have got to be great. Oh, hey, back of the end zone. Make this catch. That's going to be Marquez in the back of the end zone for the touchdown. It's another bronze receiver, dude, coming down with the touchdown catch. There's two more upgrades for Steve McNair on the touchdown pass. It brings it up to seven for the episode. As hope to God, I don't miss this extra point. And I didn't. 7 nothing. We're just playing the Jaguars, guys. Like, literally, his whole entire team is Jaguars. Like, the whole, it's just the Jaguars team. So, I don't know why he's not just playing head-to-head -head online. He's going to, oh, play-action pass. And I ran out of my zone. That's going to be a pick, though. Jason McCourty, in his first game in the series, gets the interception on third down and four. Third down and three. Do we look to West Saxon, the reliable hands, or look for somebody else? Going to have to make the read, right? Oh, Wes, I, I forced it. I forced it, and he still about caught it. I don't know why I forced that pass. That was dumb for me, guys. So, I mean, I probably had – I was just looking at Wes the whole time. I probably had a bunch of other guys wide open. But we're going to go for this field goal, guys. Try to take a 10-point lead. It's got to be perfect, though, just about, especially with the bronze kicker. That was almost perfect, and that is going to be right down the middle, boys. We take a 10 nothing lead, guys. With this team I'm running, I know it's a pretty fair matchup, but I'm still happy with every point we can possibly score with this team. I uh, keep running out my zone. That's going to be another pick, though. This time is Jalen Mills, dude. Last time I screwed up and said Jalen Mills and it was Landon Collins, but Jalen Mills now in every single episode as a bronze safety has got an interception, guys. So, like I said, we always find absolute bronze beasts in these series that I do. I always have guys that I don't want to upgrade from until like I have to at the end of the series, guys. And he looks like he's going to be one of them, guys, because he's such a freaking playmaker. Like, maybe he gets beat sometimes in coverage, but he makes up for it with some of the interceptions that he makes, guys, and makes this series so much easier for me as we're going to try to score very quick, maybe cause another rage quit. West Saxon's going to be open, but we get pressured. That could have possibly been a touchdown. He had the outside. What are we going to do right here? A's going to be wide open, man. Absolutely wide open. Make the block. Oh, man, if he doesn't get shoestring tackled. Cordero Patterson had that block. That could have been a touchdown, but a big play down to the 19. Third down and 10. Let's see if we can pick this one up. I don't want to settle for another field goal, so I might go for this if we don't pick it up. I'm going to throw a quick pass to Mark and it's not even gonna get off we like ran right into the blitz so it's gonna be a fourth down to 17 i have to kick this field goal dude didn't even have a chance to complete that maybe that's my fault for going to play action on third down against the blitz i don't know why i did that that's not gonna be good is it that's gonna be short there's a flag though i made it what's the flag for roughing the kicker dude and we get a first down and 10 at the 13 yard line dude we get super freaking lucky right there let's be smart family 
And he's open. That's going to be another touchdown for West Saxon, dude. Keeps on killing. That's another two upgrades for the touchdown pass. That is four more for this episode so far. Not sure how many total yards Steve McNair has, but it's probably five. I'm sure he has over 100 total yards so far. So, guys, we are racking up the upgrades in this episode. He has a guy open. That's going to be number 88. I'm not sure which receiver that is, but that's a big catch down to the seven, guys. Come on, man. Need a big red zone turnover right here. He's going to run with TJ Yeldon. That's going to be a touchdown, guys. And he's right back in this ball game. Really quick drive from him. Exposed my secondary in that drive. Guys, we have the ball at the 44-yard line. Not sure if I want to shoot for the end zone here or just try to pick up enough yards to try to kick the field goal. Uh, I didn't even say hut, Madden. I didn't even say hut. West Saxon, though, is going to be open. He's going to make this catch, of course. Going to call a quick timeout. We get the timeout with one second remaining, dude. I'm not going to go for the touchdown. Probably should, but I'm going to be conservative. Get the three points because this guy probably found out that he can throw the ball deep on my secondary. Because for the most part, it's a bunch of bronze players. But going to try to make this field goal, and that might not be. It is going to be good, boys. We take a 13-point lead as time expires. We had the ball with just like 20 seconds left. I'll take the three points, and we're going to get... Oh, I thought I was going to get the sack. Make this pick. Oh, man, nice little comeback route from him. I didn't get to switch to Jason McCourty in time to come back to the ball. What's he going to do, boys? What is he going to do? He's going to run the ball up the middle. No, he's not. It's going to be a play-action pass, and he's going to have a man open. We can't make him drop it. Biggest play of the game, fourth down and goal. I did not say blitz, Madden. You absolute stupid freaking game where I turn off the connect and it still picks me up saying stupid freaking crap, dude. A very good feeling. It's not a good feeling anymore. I have a bad feeling now. A very bad feeling. You know what? X across the middle. Don't pick this off. That's going to be a pass to Kenny Steals. And Kenny Steals is going to get into the end zone, boys. Is that like 97% sure going to be a ball game? We're going to go for two here. Try to make this a 14-point game. That was a huge play, dude. An absolute huge play. We needed that. It's two more upgrades for Steve McNair. Where did I say, what say, what, where? Where did I say play art? What's the play? It's exactly what I said. Oh my god, dude. What's a man supposed to do? I turned off connect. Do I have to actually unplug it from my console just because Madden's stupid enough to, I, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. That, I'm done complaining. Done complaining because West Saxon is not going to make this. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. What am I going to do? Oh, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to throw this to B. We're going to throw this to B and we're going to get this two-point conversion. That's the longest play I've ever had in my life. Come on, it's got to be a pick. Landon Collins in this ball game, boys. Let's freaking go. Landon Collins with his second pick of the game, guys. Actually, never mind. This is his first pick of the game. Derrick Henry, I believe in you, man. Derrick Henry, make this catch. Derrick Henry, get into the... He doesn't break the tackle, but what a freaking play, dude. Down to the 12-yard line. Third and 19. I'm keen in on West, guys. He's been huge for us. Been absolutely huge. Step up in the pocket. Make this touchdown reception, boys, and that is going to seal the deal. Two more upgrades for Steve McNair, guys, as this has been an absolute huge game. That's going to be a pick. That's going to be a pick from Jason McCourty, guys. And that's actually going to be another upgrade for the defensive touchdown. Pick six from the Jason McCourty in his first episode of the series, guys. That's an extra upgrade for the defensive touchdown, guys. So, guys, we do get the win 41-14. to Definitely our best performance in terms of the score in the series and best episode of the series because we're going to have a ton of upgrades, dude. Probably may have broken the record for most upgrades ever in an episode even though we played like one and a half games so remember we start with five upgrades i'll tack them on at the end so steve mcnair went 14 of 25 253 yards four touchdowns and no interceptions so that is eight upgrades from the touchdowns alone and two extra upgrades for the 200 yards passing which makes a total of 10 upgrades plus we did have the interception return for a touchdown which is an 11th upgrade then the win is a 12th upgrade so in total with 12 upgrades from this game and five upgrades from the previous game we get a total of 17 upgrades guys 17 upgrades in this episode guys that like i said might have broken the record for most upgrades ever that's just freaking amazing dude i just want to look look at uh west saxon stats really quick seven receptions 111 yards two touchdowns he has had 100 yards in every single game so far in the series even including the game where the guy rage quit like in the second quarter it wasn't even the second quarter he had 100 yards in like the first two drives of the game so this has been an amazing start to the series guys and let's go get those 17 freaking upgrades so guys i'm gonna do something i've never done before in any of my road to glory series what i'm gonna do guys is open up a ghost of madden pack and 
matter what player this is, unless it's Jared Goff, obviously, because he's a quarterback and we can't replace Steve McNair for the series. If I get any other Ghost of Madden player, we're going to upgrade him into the team as our first elite player. And I'm going to go see what his cheapest buy now is, and that's how I'm going to determine how many upgrades he costs, guys for this episode but we are gonna open up this pack first time ever let's see if you guys enjoy this hopefully you do it's kind of like a pack opening inside the road to glory episode so hopefully you guys do enjoy it so here we go ghost of madden pack be somebody great what if i do get that champ bailey that would be amazing so i'm gonna press a let's see who we get and it's gonna be javon curse guys there we freaking go 94 overall javon curse guys this is i think my second ghost of madden pack that i've opened up and he's been the guy I've gotten both times, which is definitely not the worst pool I can get. So we're going to be adding a 94 overall player into the lineup, guys. So let's go see how many upgrades he's actually going to count. So Javon Curse is going for 245,000 coins. So for him to be added into the team, we do have a bronze left in as of right now. So from a bronze to a silver, from a silver to a gold, that is two upgrades. From a gold to only under 50k, that is three upgrades. Over 50k is four upgrades. Over 100k is five upgrades. And over 200k makes six upgrades because after 100k it goes by 100k increments hopefully that makes sense so it's going to take six upgrades to go from a bronze player to this elite javon curse over 200,000 coins so he is going to be added into the team so after that guys we still have 11 upgrades we can use to finish off this episode so guys to end off the episode we have to get our upgrades like i said we started with 17 but use six at the left end position to get javon curse into the team and that looks absolutely amazing dude he's a freaking just beast dude absolute beast we have one more huge upgrade upgrade we're going to add into the team but we're going to save him for last so with that said the other upgrades well the first upgrade is going to come on offense and this is going to come at the fullback position and the reason being this is going to help out our chemistry some of these upgrades i've added to the team for this episode is trying to help out some of the chemistry so that's why i'm going with some of these certain players so with two upgrades at the fullback position that brings us from a bronze to a silver from a silver to a gold that's going to bring us to the gold fullback who also has edge protector chemistry and that's going to bring us to kyle juice check who's a pretty freaking decent fullback it cost me like 1.9 thousand points and i already had him in my item binder i always do that and with that guys that brings our left tackle niseki to an 85 which is basically an elite course that's pretty freaking awesome guys so i'm gonna try to work around with some chemistries in the upgrade since we're not following one chemistry like i usually do for all these series so now we're gonna go on to defense for a couple other upgrades and the first upgrade that we are going to upgrade to is the cornerback number two position we're going to use one upgrade to go from a silver to a gold and that's going to bring us to the gold out of position cornerback that is Taiwan Jones. He looks absolutely amazing, guys. Six foot with 91 speed, 88 man, 84 zone, 71 catching is pretty freaking good for a cornerback. So I expect him to be absolutely freaking amazing. Now with that, guys, we're also going to upgrade the cornerback number three position. Two upgrades will bring us from a bronze to a silver, from a silver to a gold, and that's going to bring us to the gold cornerback that is also out of position josh bellamy right here 80 overall he's a little slow but his coverage stats actually look very freaking awesome guys and i really like that 79 catching looks like a very good cornerback out of position that actually gives us a nobody really boosted in chemistry because main coverage requires i believe four players with main coverage actually it requires six players with main coverage wow that actually kind of does suck but it does follow the chemistry because we do have jason McCordy who also has main coverage as his chemistry so with that said guys we have one more huge upgrade absolute freaking astronomical upgrade that we're going to add into this team i have no idea what i'm going to title this episode guys because so much freaking stuff happened but we're going to go to the wide receiver number three position we're going to swap all the receivers around but we are going to upgrade the wide receiver number three position we're going to use we have six upgrades left we're using all six of these upgrades at this wide receiver position and i picked this guy because of his chemistry javon curse like i said was also six upgrades from a bronze player all the way to an elite over 200,000 coins and that's the same thing this wide receiver is going to be over 200,000 coins an elite and that's going to bring us to an absolute freaking monster dude antonio brown his elite offensive chemistry master card he has so many different chemistries but what i'm looking at is that chain mover chemistry guys that freaking is absolutely amazing that's going to boost steve mcnair up to a 93 overall dude also antonio brown is up to a 94 with that chemistry guys we're obviously gonna move him to number one can he steal to the two and Cordero patterson to the three but guys that 
my the team's looking amazing, dude. Just in a couple episodes, the team's looking amazing. This is why I can't do two games in every single episode, guys, because the team would be finished in like five, six, seven episodes. Once it be a one game per episode, it might take 15 to 20 episodes, which will keep it a pretty long series. Not too long, but long enough for you guys to enjoy. So with that said, guys, the team looks freaking lit, dude. Hopefully you did enjoy the amount of upgrades we did get. If you did, make sure to drop a like on the episode, guys. If we could continue the streak of 1,000 likes on every single episode, that would be absolutely amazing as well. With that said, guys, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will catch you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.